guys, well, you know, we kind of poked around Falcon today. Uh, started shallow in some bushes. It's my favorite way to catch him. There's one. God. Uh. Well, we're at Falcon. First fish, not what you come to Falcon for, but we're trying to figure out what's going on. I mean, this fish right here, there's a little, uh, there's a couple little spawning bays on either side. There's like a nice little secondary point right here with some bushes and things on it. Not much of a depth change, not much of a fish either for Falcon, but we're gonna keep on fishing around. Caught on a big old 12 inch blue flake power worm. 25 pound line. Um, Ruined my worm, so we're just gonna keep on going. Um, kind of run around, and it seemed to me like the fish weren't the fish weren't there yet. They, you know, the, they had some weather come through here, and and the water temps only like 58, 60, you know, to 60 degrees. So I really feel like the fish were coming, um, you know, staging up on secondary points. Good, good one. Finally, a lake falcon fish. 12 inch power worm. Got him. It's a decent fish, but uh, what the deal is here is we've been, that's a nice fish. We've been fishing around um, up in the bushes and stuff like that. and. We had some bites, but not a lot of activity. I think, you know, a lot of it's because it's foggy, the sun hasn't hit the water, the water's not warming up, fish don't want to really be there. This is just a secondary point leading back into some spawning areas. Um, kind of clean, harder bottom, and they're just staging out here. So, let's see if we can't get another one. We rolled out to, to some of those spots I just mentioned, those secondary points, found a really nice, you know, drop leading into a major spawning creek. I mean, so it's actually where Paul Elias won this event when we fish here at the Elites. And um, marked a bunch of fish. Uh, I didn't have a deep enough diving crankbait. These, this spot, you know, topped out in like 18 and fell off to 24, 25 feet. I uh, threw the, threw the A-rig a little bit. I had one bite and missed it. Put on the 12 inch power worm, this is a blue flake, um, you know, and, and caught quite a few fish. And I was really surprised I didn't get a big bite probably caught, I don't know, close to 10 fish off this one spot and no big bites. I mean, the biggest one was like four pounds and that's really not typical of this lake. Little one. Nice one. Yeah, three and a half pounder. Caught me one. Man, they're eating it deep. Need to be bigger. Like Falcon, you can see how white they are. That's when they're moving in from the main lake. They haven't really got up in the bushes yet. I mean, that fish, that fish is still like a wintertime fish, you know, if you will. It, it's, once they get up shallower, they get that real dark green. You know, their lateral lines are more pronounced, but that fish is just moving up. Fish is freezing cold, so. We'll get another big one. And usually if you're catching, you know, those those bucks that are coming in, there's some females right around that area. And maybe I didn't make the right adjustments. Um, still had a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna switch it up. You know, we're here for a couple days. We're gonna switch it up, go try some, some uh, shallow water stuff. But my gear that I was using, you know, with this 12 inch power worm, this here is an 804 Powell Max casting rod, which is discontinued and I convinced Keith Bryan, the owner of Power Rods, to come, at, come out with it in the endurance line. I, I have one, the thing is awesome. I was afraid of ruining it down here, so I, it's in my rod locker all night, nice and safe, but those are gonna be available really quick. Um, the deal with this rod is it's eight foot, and when you're throwing a big worm like this, I use it for Carolina rigs, big worms, and big jigs, like you know three quarter to one ounce football jigs. You really, it's got the right tip, 
and then you really got the muscle to get those fish, you know, usually you're fishing around structure, like a lot of those fish that I was catching were around brush, you know, down deep in the water. And if you get hung up on the backside of it, you're gonna have an issue. Um, you know, with the, with the backbone this rod has, you can rip them out of there. It's throwing 20 pound fluorocarbon, and that's really not typical when you're, when you're throwing a worm, but when you're fishing falcon, and there's a chance to catch a 10 to 15 pounder, you better have the right gear, otherwise you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Um, this is just a Revo 6, 4 to 1 gear ratio rear, uh, Premier. And, you know, like I said, the 12 inch power worm, you know, the 10 inch is a good worm, but this 12 inch, especially later on in the year, is gonna be the ticket. Um, Eco Pro tungsten weight and a 5 aught Gamagatsu hook, and just making long cast, kind of, I was just shaking that worm and doop, they bite it. But anyway, we're gonna go come up with a different game plan tomorrow, see if we can't catch some big ones. They're catching a lot of fish. There he is. There's one. Good one. That is a good one. Oh, God. 